thank you so much for your time. We're here at the beautiful Hotel Cafe Royal, which has quite a remarkable history here in London, doesn't it? Yes, it has indeed. Uh, I mean, it was um, opened by a Frenchman in 1865 as a restaurant and wine shop to start with, and then from then on became a real place where the great and the good of this world met from these days, you know, uh, we're talking about Vision of Wolf, uh, Oscar Wilde, of course, and then later on Churchill, Lady Diana, David Bowie, etc. So a lot of history, uh, both in terms of heritage through the building and people that have been coming through the doors for the last 100 plus years. And more recently, in the past six or so years, a beautiful hotel above the famous cafe. Correct. So uh, our current owners um, closed it down about 10 years ago. We went through probably three or four years of refurbishment, and seen, uh, indeed, in the last six years, it's become one of the most um, you know, sought-after hotels in London. Uh, a real modern and grand approach to it as well, so that's a quite unique offering too. And if you look at what's on offer here, tell us a bit about the rooms in here. You've got a beautiful design here right throughout the building. Yes, David Chipperfield was the architect that was involved with the project from the start uh, to make it a hotel. And, and I spoke about modern grand two seconds ago, and really the idea is that uh, we are the only hotel in London that offers that marriage between a classic heritage, you know, this room for instance is an example of that, and also bringing some modern elements and contemporary moderns to it. 160 rooms, 53 suites, uh, right in Piccadilly on Regent Street, uh, great location and very central. And uh, downstairs you've got a great new addition with the bar which has got a, quite a bit of a, a David Bowie touch to it. Yes, indeed. I mean, we talked about the history again uh, earlier on and I think uh, David Bowie um, retired the character of Ziggy Stardust here in this very place in 1973. He had his last concert as his, of course, alter ego uh, of the time uh, on, on that year and invited, you know, all his friends, Mick Jagger, Lou Reed, etc. at uh, what he called the Last Supper, uh, very much so. And we created this bar, opened this week, uh, as an homage, really, to both our history, uh, the heritage of the hotel, and of course, uh, British iconic artist and idol. And if you look at uh, things like that, it's, it's such a great history here. Is it, it, you could do so many different themes with the, the famous people that have walked through these doors and, and had dinners in some, of these, in some of these great rooms. Yes, we could. I think my focus here is always to create something that has substance, that is legitimate and authentic. So we could create 20 restaurants named differently, but really, uh, when we talk about quality and, and, and good experiences, I want to make sure that we focus on three or four key things. Um, and and Ziggy's, Ziggy's bar was one of those where it made sense to do so, mm. uh, but then you could do too much of a good thing. And I think for us, we, we, we focus on doing everything very, very well. That was one of those for sure, but I think we'll stop here in terms of, of you know, iconic because otherwise you know, we would have 160 rooms named with different people, which wouldn't work. Yeah, and you're obviously in a great leisure spot here, but also a very convenient spot for business travellers coming to the city as well. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. Look, we are sitting on Risen Street. Piccadilly Circus is two steps away from here, in the middle of Soho, St. James, Mayfair, Leicester Square is two minutes away. So in terms of leisure and business, you're right in the centre of where you want to be, undoubtedly. So you, you step out of the hotel, you go to the theatre, restaurant, shopping, and if you're doing business, all the offices are around here too. Outstanding. Have you got a couple of favourite things you really love about this hotel? Well, first of all, my personal connection with it is that I worked here 20 years ago before it became a hotel. So it was for me a real love story to come back here and manage the changes in the process and, and the service, etc. So personally, that's of course uh, a, a real plus. And, and uh, our new lobby, I think, is a real beautiful addition to it and a place where when you go into Palace Hotel, and a sense of arrival, then I think it's unrivaled in London. You're in one of the most iconic spots in London, but you could walk past and almost miss this hotel with its little entrance. It's a bit of a hidden gem here in London, isn't it? Yes, I think, I think you're right, and it's been talked about quite a few times in the past. People love hidden gems um, because, you know, they always feel like it's, it's their hotel and their place to go to, so they invite their friends and guests to come, you know, and stay with us. We like that. I think. Uh, be, being a great hotel also means that sometimes you want to have discretion, exclusivity, uh, uniqueness, and I think that gives us that aspect very, very well. And if I'm going to go and have a bite to eat at the famous cafe or one of your restaurants in here, what am I eating? Uh, I think uh, my favourite 
restaurant is called Laurent. We opened that in June this year. What I like about the restaurant is that it offers uh, amazing grilled food first, i.e. fish and meat in particular, huge Paris La Grill, uh, open kitchen, a lot of fun, and we also have a sushi counter. So if you want to have a nice light lunch, some good sushi or sashimi, made extremely well by you know Japanese chef is outstanding. So I love that, uh, that restaurant, of course. Uh, I mean, Ziggy's now is you know for a good drink in a you know, you know, beautiful space, it's great. Uh, and of course, we have the Oscar Wilde Lounge downstairs, where if in London you want to have an afternoon tea experience, then it's the best. Amazing, beautiful room, was there since 1865. So to feel the heritage of a place like ours and have a great afternoon tea, quintessentially British experience, and it's amazing. And, uh any other favorite tips to do in the area if I've got a little bit of time here, if I've got a spare day or two? Uh, well, listen, you're in London. Um, if you want to do a bit of tailoring and shopping, German Street is right next door to us. Piccadilly is right here, Street, so clothes shopping, um, a little shave if you want, you know, great barbers in the area. Um, and of course, in terms of exhibitions and shows and so on, I mean, it's all on doorstep. Royal Academy of Arts is right here about 10, 15 shows in the area, in the musicals or, or theatre plays and so on, uh, unbeatable really.